say Helanthropus chadensis, name literally meaning man from Chad. This species is also nicknamed Tumai, a local name meaning hope of life. Sahelanthropus chadensis existed about 7 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch in West Central Africa, Chad. It is said to be the oldest member of the hominin family. However, this has recently been up to debate, but we'll get into that later. Its remains were discovered in 2001, then announced in 2002. They have only found cranial material from Sahelanthropus Studies so far show that this species had a combination of ape-like and human-like features. Ape-like features included a small brain, slightly smaller than a chimpanzee's brain, has also a sloping face, very prominent brow ridges, and elongated skull. Human-like features include a small canine teeth, a short middle part of the face, and a spinal cord opening underneath the skull instead of towards the back as seen in non-bipedal apes. Sahelanthropus chadensis lived close to the time of the chimpanzee-human divergence. It may have been ancestral to both humans and chimpanzees, which would place it in the tribe Hominy, or instead alternatively an early member of the tribe Gorillini. Sahelanthropus may have been the chimpanzee-human last common ancestor, it was also suggested that Sahelanthropus could be a sister group to the 5.5 to 4.5 million year old Artipithecus and later Hominin. Other possibility is that Sahelanthropus is not ancestral to either humans or chimpanzees at all, but rather an early representative of the Gorillini lineage. If Sahelanthropus chadensis is an ancestral relative of the chimpanzees or gorillas, then it represents the earliest known member of their lineage. Now let's talk about its characteristics and lifestyle. It had the ability to walk upright, but however this is questionable. It had a chimp sized brain about 350 cc. It was very robust and it was up to three feet to four feet tall. Now for the diet. The teeth of the cranium are heavily deteriorated but based on its environment and other early human species, indicates that it ate a mainly plant-based diet, such as leaves, fruits, seeds, roots, nuts, and insects. The environment, their way of life was likely that of a forest-dwelling ape. They inhabited a forest environment. Unfortunately, not much is known about this species. But from what we can tell, its culture would have been very similar to that of a modern chimpanzee. At this point in time, we would have been very vulnerable as prey due to all the surrounding megafauna of the Miocene era. There is no proof of using tools. The way it could defend itself was to escape into trees. It would have been a very good tree climber. Cilantrus would have been preyed on by the extinct carnivorous Machiridus, a species of saber-toothed cat. Here's an example of how tall Machiridus was compared to a human being, but keep in mind our species was much smaller back then. We would have been preyed on by flying animals such as the Butler eagle, which also still exists till this day, although they aren't as scary anymore. What is so controversial about this guy? Was this species really bipedal or not? A few important things to mention first. It was a discovery of six fossils. The finds included several jaw pieces, some teeth, and a small but relatively complete cranium. It was somewhat crushed and distorted when first discovered, and some of its details had been eroded over time by blowing sand. The reason why it was thought to have been bipedal was the foramen magnum, the large opening where the spinal cord exits out of the cranium from the brain. The foramen magnum is located further forward on the underside of the cranium than in apes or any other primate except humans. This feature indicates that the head of Sahelanthropus was held on an upright body, probably associated with walking on two legs. However, recently a study in 2020 suggests Chadensis was not a bipedal hominin after all. 
The work involved studying a partial left femur bone that other researchers had found near the site where Salanchopus chidensis had been found, quote-unquote, close enough to indicate and suggest it was part of the remains. The study of the femur suggested that it came from an ape-like creature that walked on all fours. They also noted that the size of the teeth, as argued by the skeptical research team, was not sufficient evidence to claim the remains hominin, as they could have come from a small female ape. The researchers conclude that their evidence shows that Salanchopus chidensis was not a hominin and was therefore not an early ancestor. To conclude this, Salanchopus chidensis still remains uncertain and questioned till this day. Experts have been on the bipedal ancestral side and other experts think the opposite. We cannot truly know, unfortunately, until more of this species' remains are discovered. Thank you for watching this video. That will be all. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, for more information and further reading, I will put links in the description below. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.